What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a playlist, add songs, add albums and add the playlist to your iPod so you can then take your iPod and go somewhere else and listen to music. So without further ado, let's start the video. Okay, the first thing you need to do is get your iPod and put it into your Mac. USB, okay? There you go. You probably heard the noise. Something should pop up on the screen. There you go. iTunes should open. Yep. Okay, that's okay. So I need to go to to my iPod. I might just delete all of this for the time being as a demonstration. Yes, delete all of that. Okay. So let's go here. Let's go to the playlists. Let's do add new playlist or new playlist folder. Call this iPod. Music. Go back to your music. Get some music from here. Put it in this. Go into the music. Okay, that's already in there. Go here. Go here. Go back. Click this. Right click that. Add to. Yep, that's it. We found it. Okay. So if I go to here, the iPod, you can see that the playlist is now being added to my iPod. Take a couple of minutes. If I wanted to, I could probably go here as well. Click this. Click this and say add the chronic to the iPod as well. Go back into the iPod and there you can see the chronic is now being added into the iPod. Go back to here and say let's add straight out of Compton. Add to the iPod. Go back into the iPod and there you can see it's all being added in. It'll take a couple of minutes. It takes time to add music to an iPod. But we're getting the job done. Let's go back to the music and let's put in some other music. Add to playlist and then Rayhan's iPod. There you go. Let's go back to the iPod. And then you can see the first playlist was added, then I added an album, then I added another album, or I am adding another album, straight out of Compton, and then a random selection of music. I might as well just fast forward this, okay? So that's how you add playlists, albums, songs, a selection of songs and whatever to your iPod so that you can take your iPod and just take it out of the Mac and then go listen to it somewhere else. Okay, so let me just close iTunes. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for now.